Welcome to IQ Checker YouTube channel, home of science quizzes and IQ tests. This content is created with detailed analysis and important tips in preparation for this year's lower secondary checkpoint science paper 1. Let's get started. Question 1a. The diagram shows the human excretory renal system. 1a1. Name the organ labeled A. The description of the diagram says excretory system. The excretory system is made up of organs such as skin, liver, large intestine, lungs, and kidneys, which are responsible for the removal of waste products from the body. Take a closer look at the part labeled A. It is a bean-shaped organ like a bean seed. The only organ that exhibits this shape is the kidney. Hence, the part labeled A is kidney and usually in pairs. To expand your understanding, let's consider the other parts of this excretory system. There is ureter, which passes urine from the kidneys to the bladder. There is bladder for temporary storage of urine and urethra, which allows urine from the bladder to pass outside the body. Question 1A2. Name the waste product that organ A removes from the body. Kidney removes urea, uric acid, and ammonia. Urea is the most significant waste from kidney. While the other excretory organs like the lungs remove carbon dioxide as produced by the cells during respiration, when the skin through sweat removes salt in form of sodium chloride, water, and traces of urea. Question 1b. Scientists use models to explain how things work. The diagram shows apparatus and materials used to model the respiratory system. The rice grains, lentils, and sugar are added to a beaker of water instead. The mixture is poured through the sieve. 1b1. Draw a line from each material or piece of apparatus to the part of the human excretory system it represents. Draw only four lines. We've learned that kidneys filter the blood. Large molecules like blood cells and large proteins cannot pass through the membrane of kidney, while other molecules like sugar, glucose, urea, ammonia can pass through. Now back to the experiment and diagram. Rice grains, lentils, and sugar are added to a beaker of water. Sugar will dissolve because it's soluble. Lentils, which are edible legumes, and rice grains will not dissolve, and due to their size, will not pass through the sieve. So lentils and rice grains represent the blood cells. The blood enters the kidney, but blood cells don't pass through. The sieve represents the kidneys which filters the blood. And finally, the sugar representing soluble waste that needs to be excreted. Question 1b2. Describe how this model shows the function of the human excretory system. We've discussed them already with us a summary. 1. The kidney separates waste or urea from blood just as the sieve separates the sugar from the rice and lentils. Number 2. This model acts as a filter. Number 3. Large particles do not pass through. For example, the blood cells, the rice or the lentils just as blood cells don't pass through the kidney. Number 4. Small particles do pass through e.g. urea just as sugar in the model experiment. So any two of these responses will give you your two marks. Question 2. Look at the diagram showing part of the periodic table of elements. A. Use this periodic table to write the electronic structure of aluminium. When you have a periodic table question, the first thing to do is to number the elements according to the atomic number. From the numbering, aluminium is number 13. 
the electronic configuration is the summary of where the electrons can be found around the nucleus. They are in shells, first shell, second, third, and so on. First shell or orbit has maximum of two electrons. The second and third shell each has eight electrons max and the fourth shell can take up to 32 electrons. The question says, write, so you don't draw. Now, to write the electronic configuration for aluminum with atomic number 13 will be first shell 2, showing that it is fully filled, second shell 8, also fully filled, 2 plus 8 is equal to 10, but aluminum is 13, so the third shell will now have 3 electrons. Hence, the electronic configuration of aluminum is 2, 8, 3. Question 2b. How many protons are in an atom of fluorine? From the numbered periodic table, the atomic number of fluorine is 9. Since the atomic number is the number of protons in an atom, hence, the number of protons in fluorine atom is 9. Question 2c. A sodium atom forms a sodium ion. Describe in terms of electrons how a sodium ion is made from a sodium atom. The first thing to understand is how ions are formed. Ions are formed when an atom loses electron to become positively charged cation or gains electron to become negatively charged anion. Back to our question. Sodium atoms forms a positively charged sodium ion. Positive ions are formed by losing electron. Hence, sodium atom loses an electron to form sodium ion. Question 3. Look at the symbols used in electrical circuits. 3A. Which symbol shows an ammeter? Choose from A, B, C, or D. Before we answer these questions, let's identify and name the electrical symbols from symbol D. D is buzzer. Buzzer is an output device that gives a beep sound in the presence of electrical signal. C is a variable resistor, a resistor of which the electric resistance value can be adjusted. B is a cell. The cell converts stored chemical energy into electrical energy, allowing positive charges to flow from the positive terminal to the negative terminal in an electric circuit. Then we now have A is ammeter. An ammeter is a device used to measure electric current in amperes or simply amps. Hence, A is the symbol for ammeter. Question 3b. What is the name of the component shown by symbol C? From the symbols we already identified and named, symbol C is variable resistor. Question 3c. Mia wants to measure the voltage across a lamp. Complete the circuit diagram to show how Mia connects a voltmeter to measure the voltage across the lamp. The symbol for a voltmeter is shown as this symbol. Now, to make it easier for us, let's quickly name the components in the circuit. We have the power source, as well as key or switch, and finally, the lamp. Since Mia connects a voltmeter to measure the voltage across the lamp, now that we know the position of the lamp, all you need to do is to draw the voltmeter and connect it over the lamp like this. Question 4. Plants need magnesium and nitrate for healthy growth. 4A1. What substance do plants make using magnesium? Magnesium is an essential nutrient used by plants in formation of chlorophyll. Magnesium is used for the formation of chlorophyll. Question 4A2. What type of substance do plants make using nitrates? Nitrates are required by plants in production of protein or amino acids. Nitrates are used for the production of proteins or amino acids. Question 4b. The diagram shows plant A and plant B. 
plant A has green leaves and plant B has green and yellow leaves. The plants are both the same size and belong to the same species. Question 4B1 Both plants receive the same amount of light and water. After one week, plant A is bigger than plant B. Explain why. From the information we have, plant A has green leaves and plant B has green and yellow leaves. So plant A with only green leaves shows that plant A has more chlorophyll to trap more sunlight and therefore carry out more photosynthesis to produce more food than plant B. So yellow leaves in plant B lack chlorophyll. Question 4B2 Plants remove carbon dioxide from the hair and replace it with another gas. What is the name of this gas? During photosynthesis, plants take carbon dioxide from the hair to make their own food and release oxygen to replace carbon dioxide in the hair. So, oxygen is produced by plants during photosynthesis. Question 4C. A farmer grows garbage plants in his field. There are spaces between each garbage plant. So just one reason why it is important to have spaces between each garbage plant. It is important to have spaces between each garbage plant mainly to reduce competition for light, water, or minerals. So aside these other importance of spacing in plants include to reduce overcrowding, to prevent spread of disease or pests, to have more space to grow. All these are correct.